uh, YouTube? Yes. The, uh, the CK2 series hasn't started being posted on YouTube yet, but it's definitely gonna be hitting that. So this run was crazy. Um, we started off, so I did a thing that is, is actually a really fun way to mix up your CK2 experience. Um, pick a bookmark, go into the game. Once you're in the game, enter observer mode by typing observe in the console. So you hit the tilde key, type observe, and what it does is you no longer are a nation at that point. You're just observing. Run the game on maximum speed, speed five, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, maybe 100 years if you want, and the world's gonna get shaken up. And you'll get like, I mean, you're still starting from a sort of established base. It's not the same as like a completely randomized world, but it's gonna be different and shook up. And we did that. And after about 30 years, I saw there was an independent duchy um, right over here. It was the, the, it was the titular duchy of Aragon. And it was led by a two year old girl. Um, her father had gotten it, I think, as as part of an uh, I think part of a reconquest kind of thing. But he had he he had he, the the father had like no family whatsoever, like literally the family tree. If we open this up, um, all right, so that's us, Ava, her father, Alirico. He's got no parents. There was no data for him at all. So this guy here is the one who started with the duchy, but he he calfed, and then Ava inherited it when she was two years old and i let the game keep going till she came turned 16 and was of age she was still independent she was still alive that's what we started playing as from that point on uh so she'd been ruling this duchy since she was two i mean obviously a region council so she effectively she started ruling at 16 when we took over and we played through her life she lived until she was 67 and was then declared a saint we actually made her a saint we got her all the virtues and everything. She was technically a lunatic for a while, um, but God saved her. She almost became possessed, but somehow we dodged becoming possessed while still curing the lunacy. And then yes, yeah, sometime after her death, she was proclaimed a saint. Now, all of her children predeceased her. Theano, Krakra, and Ava de Soria all died before Ava did which is a little unfortunate. Ava had a pretty good uh, run though. Her mother, after um, uh, her father died, her mother remarried the King of France. Um, so we had really good alliances and, and bloodline stuff going on over there. Uh, but yeah, all her kids died before she did. Uh, so we went from playing as her to playing as her grandson, King Krakra. Technically, so we had Duke Krakra, who was our current father now for the character we're playing now. And we are King Krakra, the missionary. Um, we don't have a lot of stats. We're 17 years old. We're betrothed to a uh, princess of West Francia over here. Now, that sounds really good. The problem is West Francia is a purely agnatic um, succession, so girls cannot inherit. Um, I think the king has a son now who's currently the heir, but even when this guy was... when. Um, when Princess Tiburg was the only child of the king, she wasn't set to inherit. Her uncle, I think, was, or something like that. So even if we go and try to assassinate her brother, this princess is still not gonna be in line of succession. Although that's one of the reasons it was so easy to set up the betrothal over here as well. So we've got that. Now there's some imprisonment. They've got some war going on in France, yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And she kind of the cousin. Pretty unrelated. If we take a look at, not the realm tree. Um, I don't know if, if this is correct. No, I guess the uh, the family tree is what we want. So, her great great, so father grandfather, yeah, her great grandmother, is my great grandmother. So that makes us like, I don't know, some someone will figure it out. Fourth cousins or something like that. Like, it's pretty disconnected. Second cousins. No, second cousins would be, we share a grandfather. Uh, no, you're right, hold on, you're right. Because if we share a father, your siblings, if you share a grandfather, your cousins, if you share a great grandparent, your second cousin. Okay, second cousin's a little close. Oh, you're right, it's only half though. We don't share the same grandparents. We share the same grandparent one. So I, it's almost, I think you could like effectively multiply the genetic difference by two. So I'd say effectively, we've got like the bloodlines probably as distilled as if we were fourth cousins. It's not half removed. 
Um, cause removed has to, is a reference to different generational cha changes. And I think we have, we have exactly the same, we're same generation. So I don't think removed applies. Yeah. Remove the shifting generations. Exactly. It, it, it's really, it's really wonky, but yeah. So we're, we're second half cousins, I guess that would be the way to say it. Anyway, in terms of blo uh, royal bloodline marriages, um, that's pretty good actually in terms of avoiding the normal the normal inbred bullshit that happens. Anyway, we're in two wars here. Technically, we are fighting alongside the King of France over here, who's who's winning pretty hard, luckily. All his kids have been imprisoned, but in theory he's winning this war. I don't know where his troops are. Here. Anywhere else? I mean, he's being sieged out at home, but in theory he's winning the war. Uh, we've also started our own war for Navarro over here, which is mostly what we're going to focus on, I think, first. Bloodlines were all muddy back then. Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> Incest is wincest. Yes, the right, Lola. Also, I think we're going to play Dota 2 today for our multiplayer. So everyone make sure your Dota 2 is installed and updated. We'll go and do that. I was just reminded because Lola's in there and he's wanted to play some Dota 2 for a long time. And most of you have been playing Underlords, which is great fun. But yeah, it's time. All right, we'll unpause this. So we're only going to play CK2 for a little bit. <laughs> CK2 game, the Holy Empire is huge. Where's CGP Gray's family tree video? Speaking of incest, Dota 2. <laughs> uh, we can call in France into this war, but we don't need to. And there's always a chance they'll say no, and it'll be like, pretty yucky. I have a lot of half-siblings. Have to explain that they're different from step-siblings a lot. Right, yeah. Because half-siblings you share a parent in common, step-sibling you don't like you share parents because of a remarriage or whatever but you don't actually share any any biological parenthood we're against military tech points uh we might become cynical it'd be amazing if we became diligent i think we became neither it's whiskey uh, and chocolate Krakow has like no traits he's so crap i'm sorry we see a 224 hour screen uh judah i don't know if that's really in the cards Although, man, I've been enjoying this run so much. The problem is I also want to do other things too, right? So it's like, how do we balance everything? I'm going to split up the raiding here. Or that sieging, so we can go a little faster. Just hopefully finish off Navarre fairly quickly and then see if we can help France with some of their issues. Although they're still winning, you know, they've got their war going on. So who is that? Who are they fighting exactly? The hideous of France, of England. Okay. But yeah, we have positive war score on our side. Because they're occupying some important stuff, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this trade route. Yeah, we'll keep the trade route running with uh, Nor or Denmark. 24-hour endurance stream. I didn't even do 24 hours for uh, Extra Life. I think 16 is my record before I've just been like, nope. Can't. Feel sick now. Although that was also... The 16 hours and starting to feel sick, I believe, was the year that I said for every $100 donation, we'll do a shot of whiskey. And boy, oh boy, am I not doing that again. That was a horrible mistake. Uh, yeah, we'll go and look for ingredients. Because we have joined, unlike our mother, who was part of the Benedictine Order and just a wonderful person, we have joined the Hermetic Society. So we're going to do that. Um, I believe since our only meaningful stat is learning, I believe gathering herbs is our best bet for not effing up finding ingredients. She knows better than that. Um, <gasps> Count Amenius' Castellan has been slandering me. Expose and denounce him publicly. Give me a reason to arrest him. Sure. 34% chance. Um, that's not great. I could increase it by snoring my marshal over there. But let's wait on that. I don't really want to start a civil war while we're doing warfare over here. Make it $1,000 a shot. We get something really crazy. We get like, you know, tequila with a snake in it or something. I don't know. $100 or $1,000 a shot. Um, ooh. Great conversion of Pomelaria. Right, so uh, a bunch of the uh, pagan nations over here are being converted to Christianity for various events and things right now. Uh, we give them a bunch of money for piety. I don't think I really want to do that. Less money, no money. Just send them priests. We'll just gain some piety. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. We don't have a ton of money right now. We are in a war. We've got, we do have the Cathedral of St. Ava here, which is awesome. We do have to level it up, though. Um... It's gonna cost thousand dollars. I really would like to level that up a bunch. Never forget, incest is fun for the whole family. Holy crap, Lola! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, 
That was pretty funny, though. Uh, we can, can create a kingdom, but I'm going to wait until we can create two so we can actually just make an empire. It's going to take a little while before we can do that. <laughs> All right, we're 80% threat. Uh, they're going to get slaughtered a bunch over here, including the army that the king is running. All right, we got some herbs. You should notice your mind seems to drift off whenever we discuss monetary issues. That is likely because my stewardship's only an eight. I uh, believe to make things interesting, one must be introduced to the subject where it is directly relevant to oneself. Perhaps you would like to join us on tomorrow on a full day's work. This would be interesting. You must be joking. I'm going to say yes. Because I am a scholarship focus. I don't know. Um, Eighth Weld, I don't know, starts the day off collecting taxes. Some people frown and complain when they give away their earnings. Eighth Weld calmly explains why taxes are collected and manages to appease the complainers. Earning trust is earning gold. I could become honest. I mean, it's a net gain of skills, and boosting my diplomacy will be useful. Um, or I could gain greedy. Bonus gold, become greedy. Minus one diplomacy, which is bad. 10% tax rate is good. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, the thing is, yeah, we're not really going to be reliant on, on intrigue right now because it's so low anyway. Honestly, boosting our diplomacy so that we have more of a chance of, con of convincing people to do stuff with us might actually be, like, higher value. Uh, let us construction site, evaluate progress. Builders complain about the weather and want you to pay to cover the delays. Looks over your way, waiting for response. Hold our end of the deal when they hold or yours. Guess we can't predict the weather. I would become trusting. So even less intrigue, but that's a net loss of points. Clear the site, you will never work again. I can gain wrathful, plus three martial, minus one intrigue, minus one diplomacy. So again, net gaining some stats. I don't know, I'm just going to toe the hard line. I don't know what this is going to do. It doesn't say anything in the pop-up, but it might lead to something else. Can't lose two and three, you only have one. Oh, I was looking at the wrong, um... I was looking at the wrong number. I thought this was my intrigue. Yeah, the intrigue was that. I mean, so it can't go negative, but technically it would be at negative one right now. So I'd, I have to earn... I have to earn two points of intrigue before it goes back up to the positive. Uh, who dis? My steward. Um, the three of you had a good time discussing your experience over a fine evening meal. Visitor nods at you, saying, How lucky you are, Aethel, to have a leash that understands your work. This cooperation could benefit the two of you. I have never... I don't know how we got onto this. I have no idea how this event started. Is it just because my traits are bad? But it's going to replace my misguided warrior, which is crap, it's tier one thing, with a thrifty clerk, which isn't great, but it's tier two. Stewardship is amazing. Losing diplomacy sucks, but d uh, stewardship is amazing. Fertility boost, okay. Wasn't for me, feels like stealing. This would give me charitable and shy. Uh, charitable is a net three traits. Just flat out three diplomacy. Plus, the church likes me more. Shy, oh, is negative two diplomacy. I might be able to overcome the shy. Hated it. We should just kill the peasants, take their money. Gain slothful. Slothful is not good. It's negative a lot of things. Uh, he does have a kick-ass mustache. I think I'll take the rank up to thrifty clerk. Might help with some education and stuff we do later on as well. We'll see. So France, France is still murdering a ton of stuff over here. And sieging out war goals. That's the thing. It's a bunch of stuff over here is siege for France, but this is not the war goal. So they don't really care that much. Whereas, meanwhile, over here, they're getting ticking war score. It's cost Subway some money and fun it to Amazon. <laughs> my steward has been hard at work. Yeah, so how did... I mean, he's my steward, but how did that kick into... Hmm, I don't know. Do I want to do something? I'd actually want him to probably do some research, actually. Ditto here. Uh, Spymaster, do scheme to find plots right now. And you are proselytizing 
Um, in somewhere. Hold on. I'm sorry. Am I inheriting um, missionaries? The ability of a previous employer to provide our contractual pay causes us to look for employment elsewhere. We would serve your majesty if you would have us. Oh! I think we just stole these troops. That 5k stack that was roaming around was really like a 2.7 and whatever stack. I mean, I think that company's gonna get destroyed here. Are you two friends of the story? Oh, maybe. Come down here for a scooch. Am I paying for them? I guess so. Do I want to be paying for them? Ooh. Plunder. No, we'll try to uh, prevent them from doing stuff. As they plunder the cities. Alright. You two meet up in Maine. Piety. Why? Oh, because we've been converting people to the Catholic faith. Lovely. How do I flip to the province view? Oh, right here. Yeah, there we go. Catholics. So I'm just going to move you over here. Keep doing some conversions. You're paying as much for them as they were? I think so. Although I wouldn't have to pay the upfront costs. I'm only paying the maintenance part of things. I'm still going to have you scheming over here. Since my intrigue's so low, I think we need a little bit of self-defense schemes. I'll just try to help France a little bit. Reconquista the filthy green spot in the south. Mm-hmm. So he's doing character-driven. He's a bunch of fun and interesting events. He's a very core game, in my opinion. Oh, are people discussing the difference between the EU4 and CK2? So in EU4, you run a country. In CK2, you run a family that just happens to also probably own land. But the thing is, the country that you're part of in CK2 can change dramatically over the course of the game. Because literally, like, if you start, if you, let's say, you just control a county, that country county might get, like, flipped from one ruler to another at some point. Here, I'm going to go and do this rather than... De siege for now. Uh, Krokra leading? I mean, it's good for the morale, so I guess so. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we're in combat. Riding over the plains, I see a group of pompous soldiers coming for my unit weapons raised. When they're finished with us, all my men are dead. I sink my knees in the mud, wondering why I'm still here. Uh, I'm a hero, don't belong here. You will struggle in the future to overcome these events, or where's the enemy commander? I'll kill him myself. Am I, though? You've got a personal combat of 23. I've got a personal combat of minus two. My heir is a nephew who is strong. Roll the dice. <laughs> All right, guys. Done. Enemy commander, Duke, blah, 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 swinging his morning star with increasing precision. I'm beginning to think that I will die here on the plains. Wait, I surrender. Take me captive instead. Uh, take Ott instead. I'll help you. I lose prestige. Battlefield betrayal. No. <laughs> uh, strong, shrewd, brave, and has a treat. Yeah, that's true. He's the Duke of Kiri. Yeah, that's totally. Let's totally become this guy. Rule by the sword, die by the sword. So be it. So we're now King Funk Hug. So how's how's his line? 
Character dies, you'll play as Queen Mother Ava the Just. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of family left over. Oh no! Oh! This is Ava the Second! Right! Right! So I sent her off to marry the... No, maybe I'm getting confused with someone. To marry the... I guess she just married the Duke of wherever, of Crete, matrilineally. And so here we are with the swanky mustache. We are Desoria. Uh, family tree. So my mother was Queen, was was Ava the Just, who was the daughter of Duke Krakra, who never became king, who was the second son of Saint Ava. Right. So Ava had two sons and a daughter. Her second son was Krakra, who gave birth to a daughter that he named Ava, who gave birth to a son, Funk Hug, who's currently eighteen. And married to someone who's a weak and a hair lip. Get those jeans out of my pool. Yeah, I'm still the, the saintly heritage is good. Um, man, that is not a great chance to. Yeah, she has to be, uh, she has to be released. Oh, open the gates. She has to be, uh, yeah. Um, can we bribe some people? I got money, right? Yeah, some. A long way from a saintly days. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, we don't have any sins. We have no virtues either. We're at level three. Charismatic negotiator. That's a lot of diplomacy. We certainly have better stats than the last guy. Uh, you want to groom an heir? I agree. I think for a little bit though, I think we may go with intrigue focus. Just a very short term here. Oh, I can't because he selected that recently. Okay. Uh, oh, we don't have a spy master yet. You are malcontent. You might be happier if we inherit. You're a giant? Wow. Giant spy master. Um, maybe what we can do is look for people who are willing to join our court. With high intrigue. Who knows, who might like me. Uh, and just wait a second here. Very sneaky giant spy master. Okay. Any chance, yeah, there we go. 24 intrigue. Done. Chancellor, 22. That's pretty good. Marshal, yeah, 17's fine. Um, hold on, we might... I should probably just recruit some. I'm going to get this mayor, though, just because he won't be discontented. Uh, you are going to be super salty. Let's grab you instead over here. Um, I am uncrowned. I would like to organize a coronation. Wait, I can't ask for the Pope? Why can't I ask for the Pope to crown me? Doesn't he like not like me enough? For me to even ask? I mean, he's got positive. Oh yeah, all those wars got cancelled. Shit. Alright. Oh, he's in seclusion. Oh! Alright, we'll just we'll just get crowned by a priest. It's gonna have to do. Um, we can compose a book. Let me wait on that, just for money-wise. Um, let's drop the mercs. And then the rest of the dudes come into here. And yes, our domain size is a little high. We might be able to tweak some numbers here, though. I'm not sure. Uh, how's the intrigue? 74%. Uh, you've got 10%. We'll gift you 13%. Oh, I need to sort this by strength. That's part of what's going on here. Plot power. So 
So these have been invited but haven't actually joined yet. Uh, you can... Yeah, you need a donation so that you crown me. Uh, that's too expensive. We'll just go dignified ceremony. I'm a little worried about cash right now. Because as a newly crowned king, there's a big possibility that there's going to be some salty people. Woo! Plus one diplomacy or plus one stewardship? Well, let's go for stewardship because of the domain size. It's usually what you want as a bigger thing. I mean, we're still over. We'll see what we can do. Let's see about becoming friends. Oh, yeah. Send your plot, your spy master increased plot power. That is true. So presumably, I just send her, send in where she is, which is just in my capital. Um... Is it Spy Network? Yeah, plot power increase. Boom. 129. Alright. So mostly just have to wait for it to tick. Mary Wife, good stewardship. That will help a lot. Crowned by a bishop. It was kind of awkward because he could only crown me diagonally, but, you know, we made it work somehow. Where are the rest of those guys? Alright. So we just have the retinues now. There's the rest of your lands. Creed oh, that's a good point. Um, Yeah. So just Crete, a couple of things. Oh, I guess that would be part of it, right? We have, we have, now we have too many Dutch titles as well because of Crete. Let's not keep that around. You know what? We will give this away. I directly control both, and I don't think there's any real reason to do it. Nice tech here, though. 16, 17, 16. How does that compare to my capital? Okay, no, my capital is way ahead. So yeah, I'm going to give this stuff away. Now, I suspect, um, if I find male, um... Not ruler um, of my dynasty. Oh, we have one. My cousin. All right, I'm going to give uh, that to him. And I think you're also going to become the duke. Anyway, I'll give you the other piece of land as well, so you'll love me. There. Just, we don't want the uh, too many duchies. Um, problem? Possible to rank up in society. Oh! Oh, I'm in the Benedictine Order! Um, that does lower my fertility, though. Do I just want to leave it? Because I, I don't have a bebe yet. Kind of. I kind of want a bebe. I think we'll leave. For now. We'll rejoin it later, most likely. What is the Band of Modena? Romuva religion? Huh? I'm not familiar with this. Nino I first? Use the points first. Um, I don't think it's an act of power. I land in Sicily, too? Oh, shit, right there. Look at that. Okay, but we're at our domain limit, so we'll not worry about it yet. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just gonna leave here. Get rid of that minus 15% fertility debuff. I mean, we still need to kill our wife. We don't want to have a... Well, maybe we can kill her when she's pregnant. Maybe it'll be easier. I don't know. As long as, as, long as she doesn't have a baby yet. Uh, many things just happened here. Our Stuart went away already. Hmm... You guys are shit stewards. And we need we do need a better steward. Let me reset you. Uh, search all. Join court, yes. Uh, that need to be men specifically. Well, there's not a whole lot of options there, but... Oh, you're a genius. Interesting. Although you have great pox. That's fine. Okay. Good. He'll be pragmatic. That's going to be okay. 17 stewardship. Boom. 53% chance. Um, let's try to go for it. Oh, it worked. 
I can't revoke a title. Um, I think what we are going to do is we are going to release you because all my vassals will like me. It's nice to, like, have one of those. See, the guy still hates me. Maybe he'll start some more shit. It'll be fine. Um, I guess there's some internal warfare over here. Is he really a great genius and not smart enough to not get the great pox? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh... Focus, sure. Oh! Everyone knows I'm trying to kill my wife! Now, if I'm revealed when I murder her, does that count as a kinslayer? I don't know. Seriously though, like, can we get a murder? We're almost to 200%! We haven't even gotten an attempt to do it yet. Yeah, fake rumors, exactly. Some claims. Oh, speaking of... We need to, uh, where's my steward here? Or my chancellor? I need to refabricate some claims on frickin', um, Navara here. We're gonna win this war, we're gonna incorporate all this, and all it goes away. How many plotters are drunk? I know, it's a, it's a whole thing. I could become humble. Well, let's do it. Or not. Damn it. Seriously, die already! What's the guy gotta do to murder his wife around here? 197% plot power. Yeah, there's some internal warfare going on here. Um, it'd be nice if we could tweak our laws to prevent that, but... Well, let's increase the status of women. Work our way up that way. It'll give us way more options going forward, and it's the right thing to do. Hey! Poisonous Viper. Okay. Or Venomous, yeah. Young, okay. The heir still, the queen mother. Of course she evaded it. A massive snake hunt is now underway. At least no one's to sex and involvement. It's okay, we only had 200% plot power. 201%! Oh, there we go, poison wine. Let's try that. Let's increase the status of women while killing the spies. Well, that's it, we want to increase the status of our woman by getting a better one. Success! It seems the wine did not agree with wind flight of Saxony. She died not knowing the name of her killer. I think we'll celebrate with wine. All right, Mewedge. Um, a high stewardship person is definitely gonna be a good idea. Um, Midas Touch is also good for fertility, which is really nice. There's a genius here. She's 32. Oh, and she's got a hair lip. Never mind. Attractive, although you're gay, which is going to make it a little harder to get babies going. We got a 32-year-old genius over here. Her stats aren't quite as impressive. Watch as you get depressed from your death of your wife. Um, we might just marry Anna for just pure stats. We could get betrothed to Agnes here, but I kind of need to start making babies now. All right, maybe we'll go for her. She got the fertility bonus from Thrifty Clerk. She's stressed. She might die, but... 32 is too old. It's not too old. Um, I, I do think that... I don't know. I know there's like a hard cap for babies. I think it's 45 for women. I think fertility may drop over time. But this should still work. Oh, yeah, what about the French princess? You're right. Obviously, the betrothal ended. Oh, wrong tab. Yeah, maybe we'll just try this again. You're almost of age. Maybe maybe I'll just wait to see what trait you develop. No, I don't know. For a certain fertility doesn't drop? Okay. Yeah, they just they just suddenly become barren at 45. Still, yeah, this is pretty I think strategically it's it's still really strong. Even though she's got no genetic traits. Let's roll the dice in the French Princess. And I think as soon as she pops, what we'll do is we'll switch over and play some Dota. So as soon as she comes of age, we'll switch over and do that. Uh... 
nothing to the dungeon with him. Yeah, we'll take the prestige, because that's nice. Uh, we got a thousand gold. Two thousand is what we need over here. Internal warfare, conversion of Galicia, well, whatever. Just south of uh, Poland there, right? Can you pan, maybe? Oh my god, the lag into autosave. There we go. Right here. Marshall secluded himself. Yeah, we do have some diseases going on. Um, we could go and, like, up our hospital some more. Just plus one. It's a lot of money. You know what? I think it's worth investing. Get to level three hospital in our capital. Uh, this is our retinue. They're always active. Permanent standing army. Yeah, we still don't have enough stewardship right now, but getting married, even someone who has a few stats should do it. Excellent, some more conversions. Uh, my friend has sent me a gift. A small puppy! <gasps> we have a puppy! So, we can accept it, plus one diplomacy, plus one health. We could send it back, which is rude. Pay someone to dispose of it. What? No, we want a dog. Of course, that just means the dog's gonna die later on. We're gonna call you Faithful. Faithful the puppy. Plus one diplomacy. I like our stash. Oh, no, my mother died! Duchess Ava the Just. She's only 41, although she'd been pretty sick for a little while. Um, so we inherited a little bit of land from her. County of Mercia. New heir, it'd be Countess, Countess Toda of Navarra. My half-sister. I mean, she's Disoria at least, so that, you know, is still a thing. Um, I could imprison someone? The Countess. My aunt. I'm gonna declare war on flee, but she won't flee. Okay. Alright, raise the flag in rebellion. Stay paused. Ruler unmarried. We're betrothed to... Minus touch, level four. Plus nine stewardship. Huge boost to fertility. The learning, the everything. The yes. Um, betrothed can marry. Totally, let's do it. Winner, winner. I mean, no genetics, but that's okay. Um, let's uh, just boost that for now and just general construction. Keeps sure that's okay. Ruler and marriage, but that's gonna happen in a second. Uh, who rose up oh, over here? Yeah, that's okay. Just bring up our troops as well. Um, try not to path through enemy territory. Thanks. We'll just smash that. <laughs> Large tracks of land. She's got huge tracks of land. Uh, let's just ban you so we don't get bopped there. There we go. We are now married. And she's here. Tyberg Carling. Again, it is... Um, it's like the, uh, the sort of hood is kind of cool. Looks like you're ready to go on an adventure, man. Like, that's awesome. Um... She can't inherit anything, although there might be claims and stuff that, that could maybe get spread to her children. I'm not sure, actually, if that'll work in this case. Um, but, yeah. What's stewardship? Not enough to send us to our domain site. Okay, right, because we just inherited some stuff, but it's okay. I'm going to go and try to sway. We're going to try to boost our relationship uh, with her, because theoretically that might be good for making, like, babies more consistently. I'm not sure. What happened to Leon? Ah, uh, It became Lusitania. Oh, hold on. I'm thinking, did someone die? And do you have multiple kingdom titles? I think something like that might have happened. Why do these people have so many free traits? I know, after playing, like, Ava, the, the saint, who had, like, all the traits in the game, it does feel really weird not to have them now. Oh. We have insufficient numbers at first. Although we did have a morale boost right away, so there might have been something good going on. Good dog! Yeah! Now breathing manually. Joke's on you, that's usually the case when I'm streaming. I'm trying to pace my stuff. 
All right, come back over there. We'll deal with that rebellion. We can withdraw that or uh, revoke the title afterwards um, and then reorganize things if we want. But yeah, we're going to switch over and we'll play some Dota in a minute here. Boop, 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 boop. You know, if you've never played before... Uh, oh, yes, totally. Yes, let's have an alliance, a formal alliance with France. Uh, that's about a 10 to 1. Oh, I will accept your call to arms. And you're getting destroyed in a war. My wife is pregnant. That was quick. My own war is at 96%. That's against my aunt. <laughs> oh! She changed her outfit. Oh, maybe once she got married, maybe it was a culture difference. Like, that was her portrait when she was just princess over here. This is actually really cool looking. This whole look, very cool. I love it. Uh, I asked the queen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll keep this way on. And I don't want her to become gluttonous. Here, have a fish eye. I don't want to become chaste. I wouldn't mind becoming lustful. Oh, an Iberian Reconquest is working again. Okay. Well, we'll have to put a cut in here. Uh, let me just... Oh, I like the entertainment. Oh, I'm lustful. Wait, I think these days have really helped me getting Tyberg to know and appreciate me better. I've spent most of our time visiting my domain, discussing most of the d disparate topics. Hope you found the entertainment to your liking, because we're lustful. Or we're shy, so we say nothing. There. Well, we'll do that. I will stop um, going with the uh, sway here, because it'll just be a bunch of annoying pop-ups. She likes me enough, so that's not too bad. Come on, finish the siege. I will switch to the dotes. Dotes, 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 dotes. There we go. 100%. Offer peace. Enforce demands. She's imprisoned. Um, too many too big, too many duchies defeated me in prison. Tal Clement desires the Duchy of Mercia. Well, I think... I am going to revoke your title. And we'll have to reorganize some more things, because we, we have too much stuff going on. Who are you losing? Oh, you're losing a battle against Italy? Okay. Well, I mean, that's not going to affect me. I could consider moving my troops over here. Um, but mostly I think I might just stay home. I don't know. Maybe I'll come over here. But we'll put a cut in here, folks. Uh, unless I'm just trying into the, the reconquest right away. I don't remember if we get land if we participate in the conquest. It's not like a it's not like a, um, a crusade, so I don't know. Well, we'll put a cuss here. Lustful and shy. I can already imagine how hard it is to ask his wife to go to bed with him. <laughs> oh, that's really funny, actually. That is really funny. And yeah, wife with child. I mean, it makes sense. We have so many fertility boosters. Hopefully, the strong gets inherited, because that is a really, really good trait. Really good trait. All right, well, we'll wrap this up, up here. We'll, uh, we'll take a break. Because, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to play some some multiplayer. We like to do some multiplayer every Saturday. So we're going to do that. Boom. So switch on over. Save and quit. Go and do that. Strong better than quick. Um, yeah. I mean, so, yeah, if, probably. Um, Genius is obviously the best. Um, I, I'll take strong or quick just fine. But, yeah, I think strong is probably preferable. Uh, it gives you a lot of stats. It does give you that fertility boost. The health bonus is also hugely important to avoid a lot of issues. The personal combat skill is kind of nice, too. 